Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I don't know if this is going to be the most useless video I've ever done, or maybe it will be the most, use the most useful. I can't imagine that would be the case, but uh, I did promise I was going to do a preview of the Sunday slate. Uh, I'm going to be probably away for the weekend. I don't know if I'm going to be even around for the, the live before lock on Sunday, but uh, I did want to at least give you some preview of the weekend. Uh, of the Sunday slate, because it is the last Sunday main slate. But it's one of those ridiculous situations where you might end up getting, you know, a 3K running back at 70% ownership that you don't even know about yet. It's just that's the way it is the last week of the season. Um, there's some teams that are either resting players, they might be resting players, they claim they're resting players, they might decide to rest players and bring guys up from the practice squad that are 3K that could get 90% of the work and smash. Um, I just don't know what that's going to be yet. And I won't have any idea what that's going to be until probably Saturday or Sunday. So nonetheless, I do think it's important to at least get, get a sense for what's going on here. And I can certainly identify some plays that, that I like. Um, and then we will do, you know, just to show you how process works, the uh, a uh, a contest sim and the you know and, and a lineup build with Saber sim, but these projections are just are very fragile, to say the least. So here are just my overall looks here. So so Minnesota Detroit, um, both teams sort of have something to play for, and you're going to hear this kind of throughout the whole industry. Uh, some teams will, will say that they're playing guys and they won't. Some guys, some teams will say they're resting, but they will. I imagine that at least for most of the game, Detroit's going to play their guys. It's a rivalry game. Campbell's that kind of guy who's going to play his guys, I think. Is he going to unload everything and give, you know, I don't know, really put everybody in harm's way? I don't know about that, but he doesn't seem like the kind of guy who's going to sit anybody. And uh, on the Minnesota side, they they actually have a chance to do something. So they need like a lot of things to happen, but they got to start by winning. So uh, I think all the Minnesota guys are probably in play between Jefferson and Addison, uh, Hawkinson, uh, even uh, what's his name, the running back, Cam Campbell, no, uh, Chandler. I think they're all in play, probably more so than Detroit. So th these guys are fine. Cleveland, Cincinnati. I, I Cleveland's rest gonna rest everybody. I think they're they're totally locked in. So that could that, what that means is that you probably don't want to play the regular guys. But if somehow there's this guy from Cleveland that they announce is going to be the starting running back that you've never heard of, like let's just say that you know they're resting everybody, but John Kelly Jr. is starting, getting all the work. He's just kind of a lock. You know, that's just the way it is. Um. Cincinnati, I mean, who knows? I mean, they're 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 done. Who's to say they don't just sit Joe Mixon and let Chase Brown or Travion Williams get all the work? You just have to watch where the coach speak in that one. New England Jets, I think you're gonna get both teams playing their their guys because I mean they've been they've been basically out of it the whole year. So I don't think anything's really changing. The problem is this this game sucks, you know. Like, both teams are really good defensively. They both teams are very conservative offenses, and, and and yeah, I'm sure. I guess Garrett Wilson's fine. Brees Will Brees Hall is fine. Ezekiel Elliott is going to probably project to be a good running back play. I guess that makes sense. Um, but overall, I think this game is pretty brutal. So I don't know what I want to do with that. All right, Jacksonville Tennessee could be fun because even though Tennessee has nothing to play for, they they always again, they haven't anything to play for in a while. And Vrabel, I mean, he loves coaching. So he's going to put something together. And Jacksonville needs to win. So this game could be fun. Uh, there's also some narrative about it maybe being Derrick Henry's last game in Tennessee. Uh, they, they might make sure he gets uh, a lot of work. Um, you also have all kinds of incentives for uh, DeAndre Hopkins in Tennessee. So uh, I think he's a really good play. And so on the Jacksonville side, you have your normal guys, you know, Ingram, Calvin Ridley, 
hopefully Lawrence plays um, Etienne. Now, again, it's not the greatest matchup in the world against Tennessee with the running back, but uh, I think that you put Hopkins and Henry on one side and then you put Ridley and then maybe even Etienne and Engram, or certainly Engram, maybe Etienne on the other side. You have a co- cool little kind of hipster play game stat, right? Uh, Tampa, Carolina, you have Tampa who needs to win. So I imagine it's going to be a heavy dose of Rashad White, Mike Evans, you know, so those guys certainly look good. Carolina, again, they've had nothing to play for in a while, so but that doesn't mean that they're not going to play well. I mean, they're going to just play the way they've been playing. So don't don't dismiss Carolina just because they are have nothing to play for because they've had nothing to play for. They're still developing their their quarterback, you know, and 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 Chubba Hubbard still is going to look like an okay running back play, even though Tampa is not you know the best matchup. And Thielen, you know, he's going to look decent, I, maybe, um, and maybe G, DJ Shark. So this game's fine. Atlanta, New Orleans, the, both teams need to win this one. But again, just because both teams need to win doesn't mean that they're going to smash, right? Because both teams also need to play defense. <laughs> so. What I would say is that if these guys look good, then you can play them. But just because they both need to win doesn't mean that they're going to smash. With that said, I, I imagine that Chris Olave is going to look good. Alvin Kamara, I, I, I guess he's kind of forced to be a good play here. Atlanta, Drake London, super cheap. That projection's a joke. Um, Kyle Pitts, maybe John Smith, Kyle Pitts is probably decent. Uh, B. John Robinson's fine, but every time I'm watching land, it's, it's Tyler Algier who has the ball breaking him for a touchdown. Uh, Denver, Vegas, both teams are going to try. Like I said, you know, just because neither team's in the playoffs doesn't mean you're not going to get a good game. And hey, this Pierce guy, he's going for, for a job, you know, and he's been, he's been, he's been pretty good say the least so i think he's gonna go for it now again let's see if josh jacobs plays i can't imagine him playing it so you get zamir white is a good play again and and hey Devontae adams let's go right back to him i think that's a very strong play as well so um on the denver side if sutton is out then you get all these cheapos back from denver either judy and uh brandon johnson again at 3400 that's reasonable, but I'm telling you, man, the Raiders are tough. I don't know if I want to play too many offensive guys against Max Crosby and a motivated Raiders team. I don't know. So for me, I mean, I think Devontae Adams is pretty strong and, and Jameer White in that game. This this game, I think, can go off. I, Bears at Packers. Now, again, we don't want it if it's like two degrees and, and, and snowy, whatever, but uh, we don't know exactly which wide receivers are going to be in for Green Bay. But if any of these three guys are in, then they're all good plays. And if any of them are out, then the other two are great plays. And Dobbs is kind of okay. But this game can go off. So I I like all these receivers. And then on Chicago, and certainly I like Jordan Love. And then on the other side, Fields and Moore is just the the nuts, right? So I think that this game could deliver. So that's – I don't think I'm going to be the only one to think that, but – I think this is a good game to target. Like Giants, Eagles. Um, Eagles need to win. The Giants would just love to beat them. So you're getting the best of both teams, whatever that means. And look, Giants have been pretty decent, I have to say. Uh, they came back. They almost beat the Rams last week. They almost beat Philly when they played them a couple weeks ago as a 100-point underdog. You know, So Tyrod Taylor, he's been, you know, relishing the opportunity, getting the ball downfield, and all their receivers are cheap. So they can go right back to that. And the Philly side, you listen, Jalen Hurts, an amazing floor every single week. Devontae Smith is uh, questionable. If he's out, then I imagine A.J. Brown is super strong and, and Goddard remains strong and DeAndre Swift is good. So I think that this game could be good. So these four o'clock games, the Packer game, Giants game, I think, I think that's a really good idea. Chiefs Chargers. The only thing that could come out of this is one of those cheapo running backs. Like I said, Um, Chargers are done. 
Well, I mean, they're not done. They're still playing. Uh, Austin Eckler gets a bonus if he gets 110 yards. Can't imagine the last time he got 110 scrimmage yards, but maybe they'll try to give it to him. I don't know. Kansas City is going to rest everybody. So what does that mean? I mean, it could mean it could mean that uh, Lamichael Perrin or Keontae Ingram gets designated at the starting role at 4K, in which case he's a lock. You know what I mean? You just got to watch the coach speak and see what this is. Uh, aside from that. I mean, if anybody else gets there from either of these guys, these teams are just going to lose. Rams, 49ers, 49ers resting all their guys. So what does that mean? It means that it's possible that, I don't know, that they might sit Elijah Mitchell too and have Jordan Jordan Mason at 4,600 get all the work. You know, uh, that could be a good play. Aside from that, no one from San Fran. The Rams sort of need to win, but not really. You know, they're more inclined to rest their guys, I think. So with all that you know, said, I don't need to play Kyron Williams at 8K. And I'm probably going to be, you know, passing on this as well. Now, again, if you get straight up news that they're resting everybody and then you get Ronnie Rivers at 4K, I mean, let's go, right? All right, Dallas, Washington. I mean, this is a tough spot to fade because Dallas needs to win. And they're playing the worst defense in football. And C.D. Lamb is insane. So I don't know how he doesn't get 30. Let's see what his projection is, just for just for kicks. 25, right? That's 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 probably a good projection. I mean, he's just going to get fed. He's just, you know what I mean? He's going to get two touchdowns. He's going to get 150 yards. I mean, he just is. Um. Uh, what else? Ferguson, maybe. Cooks, maybe. Pollard, maybe. But CeeDee Lamb's just tough, tough, tough fade. Washington on the other side. I mean, you want to try this? Want to try McLaurin as the run back? You want to try uh, uh, Curtis Samuel? I don't know. I think Dallas can bring some heat on them. I don't know. We'll see. But I think those two are, are decent. And then, like, the big, the big – you know, late afternoon hammer, Seattle, Arizona, this, this game could really deliver. I mean, these guys are going to go off. I think you get to get the Seattle receivers all relatively what a, cheap enough. Um, Lockett, Metcalf, uh, JSM. This is, these are really good plays. And then you have on the Arizona side, you have Rob Gronkowski, AKA Trey McBride. He's disappointed a little bit in the last couple of games. Uh, we can go back to the uh, Michael Wilson, who uh, was better last week. He, you know, he's not wasn't so great a couple of weeks before when I really needed him. So I guess he's reasonable. Greg Dorch is reasonable. I think this game can really, really go off. Um, so McBride and these receivers, James Connor has to be i'm just like talking out of my ass here but i i would say without looking at anything else that james connor would have to rate as the best running back on this and who, who have we talked about so far i mean that's any good minnesota detroit okay we have ty chandler and we have a, a split back here with montgomery whatever we're not playing unless you're going to get to these 3k guys I guess Rashad White's reasonable. Derrick Henry's spec. Bijan, Kamara, I suppose. Zamir White, I guess, is pretty good. And then Pollard. I mean, but James Conner's doing it all out of the backfield. Uh, in a good game script, in a high total, I mean, he's got to be the best player. So I'm going to say Conner or McBride or both with Metcalf Lockett or Metcalf and Jibba, maybe Kenneth Walker too, uh, to close out the season. All right, so let's let's run a build and let's just see what we would actually get here. Just, just for kicks. And we're just using the Saberson projections. So I did say I would do an early build. So let's just see what we got. Uh, settings, sim settings, 150 lineups. Let's see what we got. 
I couldn't even guess. I'm going to say that they give me some stupid stuff like Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, ooh, maybe Barkley. Barkley actually might not be so bad, but yeah, I think I'm going to get like Ezekiel Elliott and other running backs like that that I don't want. Like Ezekiel Elliott, Chubba Hubbard. It, I got to get all this CD Lamb, right? I mean, how does he not get in these lineups? Well, the reason why he might not get in the lineups is we don't have this model for these 3K guys yet. Once a couple of 3K guys show up, if they do, then CD Lamb is going to be 100% owned because salary is no longer going to matter. Matter of fact, just for fun, I'm gonna build like right now. Actually, do you know what I'm already pre-registered in? I'm registering this four thousand four hundred forty-four per uh, dollar buy-in that I want to satellite to. If I knew that it was, uh, I just didn't think. There's a stupid slate to have it available. This looks pretty good. Look at this, Paul Jefferson. I guess there's Connor. You gotta have Connor. Yeah, there it is. Power and Elliott. That's just so fitting. Power and Elliott to be the top exposed guys. And then James Conner. Let's um let's run a contest sim, I guess. And we could actually set this up from here. Add contest sim. We could put this from here. Uh fantasy football millionaire. And then we'll just call it Millie Maker. We'll, we'll do the weird caps because, again, it's a stupid slate. And again, you guys know what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to trick the football gods into letting me win by calling it a stupid slate. And then I'll threaten I'm not going to play it, all this stuff. Let's see. Again, let's see if there's, there's any real difference. Oh, it didn't look at what stacks I was getting. Uh, Minnesota, 53% Minnesota. I mean, and then, set, you know, 10% San Francisco. I mean, that's just absurd. You know what I mean? Because we're just going to get all those guys out. This is more of an exercise to show you guys how to use the tools. Let's just see. Um, Millie Maker will sort by risk adjusted ROI. <laughs> Ooh, and now we get more Seattles. All right, so that, this all makes sense. Connor, highest owned, no problem with that. I mean, not at all. No C.D. Lamb, though? Boy, oh boy. They want me to play DeMario Douglas. You know, I'm going to find a way to play C.D. Lamb. Hopkins, that would be a good play. Uh, another one. Let's, let's... um want to I am in the 44 44 so I do want to save save something we're going to add this contest in and see what I would get in that contest like what would it recommend like right now and it's dumb right for all the reasons I mentioned but I'm just curious what type of lineup I would get in that I have to save something so I'm going to put this in whatever this is but th this looks good. The Seattle's with with the with the Connor. Not no thanks for Mixon. No thanks for Judy either. Yeah, so I'm gonna. I think I'll be able to hand build a good 44 44. It's gonna be a tough one for the Millie Maker though. But I think for one lineup, I I think I can do this. It's gonna be tough as the other running back position. I, I know it's got to be Connor. It just has to be. Right, let's see, fourth down conversion. Let's see what it gives me. Does it give me Connor at least? Yeah, okay. Yeah, this, this is actually all pretty reasonable. All with Jefferson. Douglas, not the greatest, but Jones, Connor, Ferguson. Are we going to save this for now? Just so I save something. You want to see what it would look like? All right, fine. Let's, 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 let's see what this is. So let's pull up this football thing. If I were to hand build this lineup right now, well, let's just start with what I know I'm doing. And that's going to be Connor. 
Where is he? All right, so James Conner for sure. And we're going to have to put, we're going to play someone on Seattle. I don't know which one it's going to be, but what if we, what if we did this? What if we played Geno Smith and then we played DJ Metcalf? Ropers. And then let's say, just for, just for S's and G's, that we went back to that Bears game, like I mentioned, and played DJ Moore and, I don't know, this guy, for example. We'll play Metcalf and Reed. Now, you don't need to play Geno Smith, actually, right? So if you want, you could play, well, what's, well, Fields is probably more expensive, right? But you know what you could play? You could play Jordan Love. He's only Geno Smith, 6,100. That's really cheap. So Geno Smith, Metcalf. And then what is what's his name's price? Let's look at the uh, oh, I know what we want to do. We want to play one of these giant dudes, right? Giants, who's my favorite receiver there? 4,200, maybe. Wandell or Slayton. Who's a good running back that we talked about? I mean, there's probably going to be some value that shows up. So I don't want to cut off my nose to spite my face here, but who else looks good now? It would be, first of all, be Samir White, right? And then maybe. I want to see what JSN is in that Arizona game for openers. Hold on. Let's see if I can afford him. He's only 4,800. I could probably do this. Let's let's put in um, JSN. Who's a good defense? Uh, who's down here? Carolina, San, San Francisco, Detroit. Ooh, Vegas. Vegas is it? Oh, yeah, Denver. Chargers against against backups? Well, that could be. But you're not going to get a lot of uh, action there. Who had, how about Tennessee? This is no bargain here, huh? I think the Bengals' defense is probably reasonable, but I want to get some action. I want the, the ball to be flying a little bit. Um, Panthers' D could be interesting against Tampa. Also, Arizona, I don't want to do that. Giants, 2,300. Commanders, 2,200. I guess the Titans have to make sense. And so then, who's who's a good tight end here, do we say? Wait, Kyle Pitts? So this is a good start. I right? definitely want to play the Seattle guys. That's a good staff. We have a run back with Eric, with, with Connor. Uh, we're going to get some running back value. I just know it. I just know it. But for now, we're going to keep this. Um, and that's pretty much all I have for now. I hope this wasn't too too uh, too useless. I, I don't know. I, th I thought I did a decent job with it. We'll see. Anyway, uh, I don't know why I'm apologizing so much for this video. Because I usually, I have this kind of screen that if I don't feel you've learned anything from the video, I just never upload it. I'm not exactly sure if you've learned anything, but I'm going to upload it. All right, that'll do it. Uh, good luck, everybody. Uh, no, you know what we did learn? Um, not much. It's just not much to do on Wednesday. Uh, hopefully, Bobby around Sunday morning, but maybe Rodeo will come out with the playbook. All the news is going to come out between now and Saturday night, and you'll I'm sure we'll be able to figure it out. That'll do it. Good luck, everybody.